to our me. Was an in the sun is the most powerful generator in the universe. It has been sending us its rays for five billion years. Within 20 minutes, the sun transmits as much energy to the earth as all people in the world consume in one year. If it had a layer of ice 13 yards thick, the ice would melt away in less than a second. Fossil energy sources such as petrol, gas, and coal will be used up someday, but the sun will always shine and supply us with its energy. Free of charge for the next five billion years. Madagascar has serious energy problems. Cooking energy alone is a big concern. About 85% of Malagasy households use firewood or charcoal for cooking, but wood is becoming rare and expensive. An alternative solution is not in sight. Electrification of the whole island will not be feasible in the near future. Gas is very expensive. Are firewood and charcoal really the only options? The consequences for the environment are disastrous. One century ago, Madagascar was a green island. Today, only one-tenth of its primary forests still exist, most of them on the humid east coast. To see such a forest, one must go to a national park. The habitat of many plants and animals, such as Madagascar's famous lemurs, is decreasing. The biggest species, the Indri, only survives in the Anala Mazotra Reserve near Andasi Bay. Very soon, many unique plants and animals will have vanished. Traditional slash and burn practices are the main cause for this destruction. The second reason is charcoal production for cooking. Even in the heart of the nature reserves, illegal charcoal producers pile up wood. All over Madagascar, more than 500,000 acres of primary forest are burnt or cut down every year. Will the Red Island be called the Black Island someday? Each of the 18 million Malagasy consumes at least eight sacks of charcoal a year. That is a total of 144 million sacks. To produce one ton of charcoal, more than nine tons of wood would need to be burned. Only resistant grasses grow in the poor soil and a savanna is born. Cracks form in the ground, causing landslides. Lavaca, huge gullies, can open in a few days, threatening villages and rice fields. In the rainy season, the rivers carry the red earth washed from the mountains down to the valleys like the Betsibuka in the northwest. The earth settles in the riverbeds and the rice fields are filled with mud. In the dry season, the rivers silt up and do not carry any more water. The Taheza near Beza in the southwest changed its course within a few days. Where the river had its bed, there is now a sand desert. Madagascar's trees are being destroyed for new agricultural land and pastures and for charcoal production. With its warm climate, the south is severely affected by deforestation, making it the ideal place for the Swiss Malagasy NGO ADES to work. Here in Tuliar, the price of one sack of charcoal may climb up to 12,000 ariari, about six US dollars, depending on the season. The main target of the Association for Development of Solar Energy is to promote the use of renewable energies, and especially the solar cooker, to protect nature and fight against poverty. The Amzozani, the 2000 jusqu'à 2007, the Fanatata and the 2000 four solar. The 
Since the foundation of the NGO seven years ago, 40 jobs have been created for local people. In the Addis workshops in Tuliar, Ejeda, and Morandava, many carpenters are manufacturing solar cookers. With money from Swiss donors, the workshops have been equipped with state-of-the-art tools and machines. When possible, Addis uses local materials such as cotton for insulation. How should a solar cooker be built to ensure that all meals are well done? We joined the Addis team during a demonstration in Namaura in the southern part of Morandava. Did the solar cooker users consume less charcoal? Isahaya mandani umruwala isambula sarbon. Rana pia santi zaye famis fe nambid lav chakukua. Nuni tewadua. Raya la riar fachi fachi lan nayam sarbon ko fan raya la yan ma pia lan em sarbon. Isani riva yan ma pia sa sarbon. The solar oven works like a heat trap. The aluminum foil reflects the sun's rays onto the cover of the pot. The parabolic cooker is perfectly adjusted to the sun when this pin does not produce a shadow anymore. The aluminum foil of the reflector directs the rays exactly below the pot. Before putting the pot on the bracket or taking it off when the meal is done, you should turn the reflector away from the sun to protect the eyes from the reflected light. To satisfy the growing demand, Addis keeps big quantities of material in stock. A new machine makes wood processing much easier. In 2006, Addis opened a second center in Ejeda, about 155 miles south of Tuliar. Restaurants in Madagascar do not use any solar cookers. At present, Addis is testing this cooker model for four pots. One solar cooker reduces wood consumption by about 27 tons a year. Forest destruction causes 20% of CO2 emission. Solar cooking is very efficient in preventing the emission of carbon dioxide. <laughs> Let us all follow the good example of Addis and use the sun's energy, free of charge, for the next five billion years.